I just want to sit and read while in the park so yeah see you there into a good book even finish it or watch a good tv show or do something fun and relaxing while well, i'm just sitting here worrying about my homework i better get back to studying and finishing my homework because otherwise i'll be working on this for years and years see you probably next day Perfect time of the month is when I get book mail. Like, um, yeah. And excuse me for my voice. I'm a bit sick, but that doesn't matter because I've got book mail. Look! Oh my god! He made me. So this is the rest of the four books. The second, I don't know, uh, second, third, fourth, and fifth book in the Shatter Me series. I just wanted to read Shatter Me, the whole series of Shatter Me, so I just bought it all. So happy. I don't know why, I'm just, I'm just so excited. <laughs> um, that's all. Also, I haven't really talked to you, so let me just do a little update. So, it's currently Monday. Um, I don't really have a lot to film because I'm mostly just studying and doing homework because that's what a normal teenager does who has their finals in the next month and she needs to prepare for those. And that's literally all I have to say. I'm just gonna get back to homework because this is literally the only happiness I have in my life right now. Um, so yeah, really stressed. I'm always stressed. But I think it will get better eventually after I get my finals and officially some more starts. Uh, I'm just so happy about that. So yeah, let's just get back to doing homework. And I'm going to make myself some tea because I'm sick. You can hear it in my voice. It's completely different from all my other videos. Goodbye, have fun. I should also brush my hair. It doesn't matter, by the way. Bye! <laughs> I haven't talked to you in a few day few days but I haven't really done any footage because I don't really feel like filming when I'm at school or um, when I'm playing tennis or when I'm doing homework because um, some things don't feel interesting and some other things I just don't feel like filming in general but I'm currently lear learning studying for um, for an history project 
and for a geography test so i have to do that and i'm thinking of reading um, a couple of chapters from the spanish love deception I started this book i have finished better than the movies i don't know if i've done a review for it from for it um if you guys see this is turning a bit of a reading vlog slash uh spend a few days with me vlog because it's just I'm mostly reading, you know, like reading is part of my life and it takes a really big part of my life. Um, I don't think it was a five star read for me. It surely was up there along some really other great romances, some really other great books. Like it was surely four stars or 4.5 stars. I just felt A, it wasn't the perfect time to read this book because I was in the mood for finishing, literally finishing the Shadow Me series, but I decided to take a little break from all dystopian until all the books come out and my friend also has the books. So now I'm reading The Spanish Love Deception. I borrowed this book from my friend, the same friend I'm reading Shatter Me with. She started reading uh, the first book from the Dreamland Billionaire series, but I'm stuck with reading this book, um, The Spanish Love Deception. This is actually, I've read The American Roommate Experiment and I didn't know it was the second book. It was a sequel and it's kind of Dolgy. I'm actually kind of halfway through. It's really fun how I read so much in the course of a week. Uh, knowing I have finals in like four weeks, in literally a month. Uh, so far it's great. So far I like it. I feel like it's a bit slow paced, which I don't really enjoy. I feel like it could be more fast paced than it is. But they are currently in Spain, and if you don't. Know, if you don't know what this book is about, it's about Aaron and Lena and um, Lena has to go to her sister's wedding and um, Aaron offers himself to act as her fake boyfriend because her ex-boyfriend will be there and I don't really know everything about her ex-boyfriend but it seems really serious and she wants a fake boyfriend to be there or at least an escort or this is it um it sounds it sounded like a really interesting concept and i still think it is and i just want to see more of that than just them talking and like going through charity balls or everything um so yeah i'm more excited about the spain thing rather than the new york part i'm going to study a bit faster in order to read more of this because i'm really excited and maybe I will write at my own book in a few hours. If I have time, I don't think I will have time, but um, it's currently Thursday. So yeah, that's it. Have a nice day, evening, whatever it is for you. vlog and I realized I haven't done a proper outro on it so I decided to just tell you about the special of deception for a bit and some overall thoughts about my week so it was kind of a nice week sincerely I did have a test in some projects but it was fine I guess and the Spanish of deception it was it was like a four star um, it was clearly a first I read. Um, I really did enjoy this, but first of all, it didn't really give me the feels that the American Roommate Experiment did. And it was clearly a fluffy romance, but it was not... It was not a five-star read. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a thin line between four-star books, four-point-star books, 4.5-star books and five star books like i don't know how to explain it but that's how it sits and that's how it's supposed to be 
So now again, my week will start again. It will be Saturday tomorrow morning. I should go rest. I should go read some more. Not have the Spanish love deception, maybe something else. Um, or watch a video or play my guitar or literally anything else. I'm tired. I should just rest. After a busy week, I just want to rest and not meet people. Um, anyways, have a nice evening and I hope you enjoyed this video um, and maybe see you next time. Mm -hmm.